These are the AirPods 4, and these are the... These are the AirPods Pro 2. Both very similar Apple earbuds, but with some key differences. So let's discuss them. What's up, internet? I'm Brian McDuff, AKA BMAC, and welcome to another video. So yes, indeed, today we're gonna to be breaking down these bad boys right here. We have the Apple AirPods 4 and the Apple AirPods Pro 2. Like I said, both very popular pairs of Apple earbuds, but when it comes down to it, which is the better pair of AirPods for you? That's what we're gonna find out. So let's break these babies down, starting things out by going over the design of these two pairs of AirPods and what makes each one of them unique in the way that they're built. At a quick glance, you're gonna see that both pairs of AirPods are very similar in their overall design. They both come with the classic and iconic Apple white glossy finish. They are both stem style earbuds and they both offer IP54 dust and water resistance. But there are some key differences here as well. For one thing, the AirPods 4 offer an open ear design without the use of any kind of ear tips, while the AirPods Pro 2 offer an in-ear design and come with four different sizes of ear tips to choose from. Which means that the AirPods 4 do more or less take on a one-size-fits-all approach in terms of how they fit and feel in your ear when you wear them. While the AirPods Pro 2 do give you some additional customization options with a better seal and overall better comfort because of their in-ear style. There are also some subtle differences in terms of the microphone cutout placements and an ever so subtle difference in overall thickness, but for our purposes here, they're more or less the same for everything else when it comes to their design. And since design is gonna be subjective here with these two different styles of earbuds, I can't really award any points to either one of them because it is gonna come down to personal preference. If you want an open ear style, you're gonna go with the AirPods 4. If you want an in-ear style, you're gonna go for the AirPods Pro 2. So. Tie. In terms of the charging case, they do both come with the same white glossy plastic finish, both with speakers built in for various status indicators. But size wise, as you can clearly see, the AirPods 4 charging case is going to be a little bit smaller than the AirPods Pro 2 charging case. The AirPods Pro 2 charging case, however, does feature a lanyard loop built in if that's something you wanted to use. I do want to quickly point out here that the AirPods 4 are available in a non-ANC and an ANC version. The ANC version is going to be the version with the charging case like the AirPods Pro 2, being able to be recharged via MagSafe or a Qi wireless charger, with of course all three versions able to be recharged with a physical USB-C connection as well. Another thing you will notice is that both cases of these AirPods models are going to have a built-in LED status indicator light, but it's actually a little bit more hidden in the AirPods 4 actually illuminating through the plastic when it's lighting up, as opposed to the little cutout LED status indicator light like we have here on the AirPods Pro 2. You will also notice the lack of any kind of physical button on the AirPods 4, because that's actually now a touch sensitive button below the status indicator light on the AirPods 4, as opposed to it still being a round physical button on the back of the AirPods Pro 2. It's tough to say which charging case is better per se, but I am going to award a point here to the AirPods 4 simply because they have a more modern, updated charging case design and because they're smaller and because the AirPods 4 are going to need the points wherever they can get them. On the inside of both AirPods, things are also pretty similar here. They both feature the Apple H2 chip. They both offer dual beam forming microphones with an inward facing microphone and they both feature in-ear detection sensors. The only difference, however, being that the AirPods 4 use an optical sensor while the AirPods Pro 2 use a skin detect sensor. The skin detect sensor is gonna be better than the optical sensor because it's gonna do a much better job of actually detecting when it's against skin in your ear, as opposed to just thinking it's against skin with the optical sensor, like if you had these in your pocket. So point for the AirPods Pro 2 there. Like I mentioned a few minutes ago, both pairs of AirPods do support Apple Find My, but only the AirPods Pro 2 have an additional chip built in, the U1 chip, that is gonna allow for ultra wideband technology to help you more accurately and easily locate your AirPods Pro 2 with proximity capabilities. As such, you gotta give a point to the AirPods Pro 2 here for that U1 chip alone. Now, in order to control the audio playback of your device, both AirPods do have track controls, but let's break down how they're actually a little bit different in terms of how they actually operate. Both pairs of AirPods do allow for track controls through the stems of the AirPods themselves, but the AirPods 4 have a force control system, while the AirPods Pro 2 have a touch control system. What this means is that you will be able to pinch the stem on either the AirPods 4 or the AirPods Pro 2, 
in order to, of course, play, pause, skip, backtrack your music, or toggle your noise control on or off, or even invoke the Siri voice assistant, even though both models do also offer hands-free Siri connectivity. But the AirPods Pro 2 do have that touch sensor here that actually allows you to swipe up or down on the flat part of the stem to actually control the volume. This feature, in and of itself, is actually one of my favorite AirPods features of all time. It's incredibly helpful to have, especially with how it works and how seamless it is. You don't have to take your phone out of your pocket to actually change the volume. If you constantly find yourself needing to change the volume of whatever it is you're listening to, this is an obvious win for the AirPods Pro 2 here because that swipe volume control is awesome. But let's take a few minutes to talk about an obvious category that we need to address here, that being sound quality and what makes the two AirPods different in terms of how they actually sound. Both the AirPods 4 and the AirPods Pro 2 ship with Bluetooth 5.3 connectivity with support for the SBC and AAC audio codecs. So neither pair of AirPods here actually support any kind of high res Bluetooth audio codec. But with that being equal, what's the deal with sound quality for each pair of AirPods? I'm just gonna tell you point blank that the AirPods Pro 2 sound better than the AirPods 4. Now, at least part of this almost certainly has to do with the fact that the AirPods Pro 2 do offer that in-ear style design with a seal that is created in your ear which is gonna offer better overall sound balance and better bass response. You are still gonna have detail and clarity throughout the entire EQ spectrum with solid instrument separation on both pairs of AirPods, with of course that adaptive EQ that both pairs of AirPods offer as well, but you are gonna get a fuller sound with more impactfulness and deeper bass in the AirPods Pro 2. I do wanna make it clear here that the AirPods 4 still do sound great for being an open air style of earbuds, delivering a decent amount of bass and detail and clarity throughout the entire EQ spectrum, so they're great in their own right for their design, but they simply don't sound nearly as great as the AirPods Pro 2. That's all there is to it. In terms of spatial audio, both AirPods do offer spatial audio support with dynamic head tracking. So if you like listening to your music or watching your movies or TV shows in spatial audio, and you want that more immersive audio listening experience, you're covered with both. But a huge part of what makes these AirPods special is of course, active noise cancellation and how each one performs with that ANC feature. The AirPods 4 non-ANC version obviously doesn't offer ANC, but the AirPods 4 with ANC does, and it is decent ANC. It's, it's solid. It's not bad, it's just not nearly as great as the ANC performance that you're gonna get in the AirPods Pro 2. Again, a lot of this has to do with the inherent design of the in-ear style of the AirPods Pro 2. They're creating a sealed off environment with the ear tip design here. And that is also no secret, Apple itself says that you're gonna get up to two times more active noise cancellation performance out of the AirPods Pro 2 over the AirPods 4. On the other end of the spectrum, you have transparency mode and transparency mode is fantastic on both pairs of AirPods, although technically the AirPods 4 don't have a dedicated transparency mode. And the reason for this, as we've already discussed, is simply because the AirPods 4 offer an open ear design which allows for ambient and environmental noise to freely flow through them when you have the ANC turned off. So naturally, that's gonna beat the digitally recreated transparency mode of the AirPods Pro 2. But credit where credit is due, the transparency mode on the AirPods Pro 2 still is fantastic, and it's quite possibly the best transparency mode that I've experienced any pair of in-ear earbuds to date. Now at the time of making this video, there are also hearing test, hearing aid, and hearing protection features coming to the AirPods Pro 2, and these are features I've actually already personally been able to test out and enjoy, and I'm liking them so far. They seem to work great, and I've loved the hearing protection features that we get in the AirPods Pro 2 that we've had for quite some time now. It's honestly mind-blowing how well it works. I'm actually seriously considering wearing the AirPods Pro 2 to the next concert I go to to protect my ears because of how great things sound while at the same time lowering the loudness around me, protecting my ears from the loudness that they're being exposed to. So for these hearing capabilities right here, these features alone, another point for the AirPods Pro 2. But let's talk about battery life for a second here and how long you could actually expect each pair of these AirPods to actually last for. On the AirPods 4, you can expect to get around four hours of ANC listening time on a single charge or up to 30 hours of total ANC listening time when including the charging case. And on the AirPods Pro 2, you can expect around five hours of ANC listening time on a single charge or also upwards of around 30 hours of total ANC listening time when including the charging case. Both AirPods models do also offer quick charging. Just a quick five minute charge of the AirPods in their charging case should net you around a full hour of listening time. And once again, like we mentioned earlier, you do have the ability of recharging the charging case itself via MagSafe or Qi wireless charging on the AirPods 4 ANC and the AirPods Pro 2 
while the AirPods 4 non-ANSI will have to be recharged via USB-C, just like the AirPods 4 ANSI and AirPods Pro 2 are capable of as well. So very similar here as it relates to battery life in both pairs of AirPods, but a slightly longer listening time on a single charge for the AirPods Pro 2 does give them the W in this category. But with all this having been said, here are my final thoughts on which pair of AirPods are the better fit for you based on your needs. On paper, it's pretty clear that the AirPods Pro 2 are still very much the clear winner over the AirPods 4, and they probably should be. I mean, they have Pro in their name for a reason. If you still want the best of the best of what AirPods have to offer across all categories, the AirPods Pro 2 are not gonna disappoint, and they still sit pretty as Apple's pride and joy as it relates to premium earbuds. But if your budget doesn't allow for the AirPods Pro 2, the AirPods 4 do a nice job of giving you that ANC listening experience with some of the same premium features of the AirPods Pro 2, just at a smaller price tag. And if you don't care for ANC at all, you can save even more money by opting for just the non-ANC version of the AirPods 4. No matter which pair of AirPods you end up choosing, you can see the latest deals, prices, promos, and information for all the AirPods by heading to my affiliate link, bmac.link slash AirPods, or of course, as always, there's gonna be clickable links in the video description box and in the comment section below. So check those out. But with that having been said, I'd choose the AirPods Pro 2. I actually have a concert to go to tonight. Maybe I'll wear these there to lower that volume, keep things, you know, at a healthy level. I will see you guys in my next video.